Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes, to Horizon Call of the Mountain on the PlayStation VR 2. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. I've got absolutely no idea if I'm looking at the camera, so if I'm not looking at you right now, I do apologise. But today we're going to be jumping into this wonderful game. Now before we jump in, there's a couple of things I want to mention quickly. Um, first things first, when you use PlayStation VR 2, it was very similar with PlayStation VR 1, and it might be the same with other VR headsets as well, I'm not sure. But you need to play in a well-lit area, but not too bright, like direct sunlight and stuff like that. So I've currently got my light boxes in front of me, two of them, and they're pretty big, and they're directly in my face basically, so I don't know if that's going to mess with the tracking or if it's going to keep on bringing up error messages, I guess we'll find out. But for now, we're going to jump into the game, there's going to be like a five or so minute introduction where we can just experience the world, and then we're going to get into the gameplay and the action, and then we'll chat some more about VR too. But let's get straight into things. Continue, riverboat ride, let's go. Oh man, I fucking love this. I'll tell you what, man, I love this. Sony Interactive Entertainment what presents. What are you doing? Kivad, if the boat goes over, it'll drown in these chains. So he drowns. Can you take this off my head? Kavad. Oh. Can't walk in the light. You can't see in the light, right? We should have staked him out and left him for the Glint Hawks. Damn Shadow Karja. Several years in the military and she still <laughs> believes in justice. Will you sit your patronizing ass down and paddle? If he runs... Where to? The only place he can go is Don's grasp, and that's where... That's where we're taking him. Don's grasp? Who are you two? Is this a prisoner exchange? Keep your voice down. There are machines out here. Hey, look. Grazers. Blameless Murad's giving you a chance. We will make it back to Don's grasp alive. You can talk to him about a pardon. So, either take your chances with us, or... Stormbird. Oh my god, look at... They haven't come this far to get struck by lightning. <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. And I felt the breeze on my nose. I think we're clear. So, Sun King of Ours will only pardon me. A notorious enemy soldier. Why does he want to return? Hey, I asked you a question. Salt Valley's been filling with machines. The sun brought us Edom and the Shadow to find out why. Me? You and Marad have lost your minds. Hey, you can't blame Marad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little bit ill, I do apologize. Got a bit of a bad cough Stop at the moment. Holy! Hey, you gotta watch out, buddy. <laughs> oh my God! Makes you realise just how big the tall necks are in the Horizon universe. Because when you're playing as Aloy, they look massive, but like this. They look even more massive. <laughs> Those machines keep coming. There's not going to be anything left of Don's grasp when we get there. Famous Barad would have sent for reinforcements. If there were reinforcements coming, we wouldn't have been sent to drag this murdering sting out of prison. How they can offer him a pardon? Don't worry. I don't need a bow. can deal with it. Come on, you watcher bastards. Did we lose them? Keep quiet. Please don't let them see us. Please don't let 
don't let them see us. I'll go to every dawn ceremony. Just don't let them see us. Son, save us. It's not like you've never seen a machine before, Kavad. Just keep us to the left, away from them. Oh, 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 great. Yep, the red eye. Get ready. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I got it. I had an arrow then. Fantastic start. Five minutes in and we're dead. I don't know if I need to swim or not. I don't even know how I'm talking underwater right now, but I don't know if I need to do this, but I'm just doing it for added effect. Okay. Now we actually do have to do this though. <laughs> The climbing in this game is absolutely spectacular. But I will say one thing, if you don't enjoy the climbing, you probably won't enjoy the game. Because <laughs> there's a lot of climbing in this game. Give me your hand. I'll get to you. Okay, uh, I chose to use the uh, sticks to move. I think when you start this game, you have the choice of gestures, which I'm not even sure what that is because I've never selected it, or you can control your character with the uh, analog sticks. I'm guessing with gestures, maybe you like push your arms forward and maybe you'll walk or something like that. I'm not sure, but you can choose how you want to play this game. Just hold on. Oh. Man, I don't remember the snap balls being that big in the game. I know they are relatively big. They're maybe like three times the length of like Aloy, maybe. Or maybe four times the length. But I don't remember being that big. That looks huge. Alright, once we get up here and we're safe from the snap mall, we'll have a little chat about VR. Look at that was terrible, mate. That was awful. <laughs> uh, I did forget to sort out the audio settings, so if the uh, music or the characters sound a bit quiet or anything like that, I do apologise. I just sort of jumped in, set up the PlayStation VR 2 for the second time, because I had to set it up on my main profile first, and then on my YouTube profile, which I completely forgot to do last night. So uh, yeah, I kind of was in a bit of a rush this morning. <laughs> All right, let me get up here, make sure Riaz isn't gonna talk about anything random. And uh, then we'll have a good old chat about the old VR. There. So, when was Marad had me released from prison? But why? I'd better head to Don's grasp, find Marad. See what he wants in return for a pardon. Alright, so, first things first, story-wise, our character is Riaz, and we are a Shadow Carja. You might remember who they are if you've played the main Horizon games, which I'm sure you have if you're playing this game or if you're watching this video. Um, and you are basically on the road of redemption, but right now we are heading to a location where the Sun King of Ard is. If you remember, he's also in the main game. I think he's in both games, actually. I think he has a bit of a thing for Aloy, but um, basically he's going to pardon me, release me from uh, my shackles, which I currently don't have anyway, and uh, then we're going to be on a road to redemption, I guess. But um, in terms of PlayStation VR so far, uh, number two, 
comparing it to PlayStation VR 1, I would say that this is probably about... I wouldn't even say it's a 100% improvement. I would say it's possibly about a 1,000% improvement. The accuracy of the sense controllers is almost immaculate. It's a little bit iffy at the moment, purely because I've got two light boxes in my face, which you're not actually supposed to have. Um, in terms of like doing stuff that you're going to be doing in this game, like the interactions, climbing up the walls, the little intricate like grabs, you can even pick up like a paintbrush and stuff like that and write stuff on the wall. It's the accuracy of these controllers is sublime. Uh, in terms of the sitting down play area that generates around you when you're playing seated, because you can also play standing up as well, but in terms of playing seated, the play area around you, um, it could be a little bit bigger, because when you stretch your arms out too far, you get this little, like right now, I'm getting like a little red circle telling me I'm too far from the play area. So I kind of wish the play area was bigger, because if you're tall like me and you've got a big wingspan, then uh, it's a bit tedious to have these red things pop up all the time telling you that you're nearly out of your boundary. Uh, but yeah, uh, without having to use the PlayStation VR camera and having to, having to have it track the lights and all that, the accuracy, like I said, is sublime. And just the fact that it's one cable, plugging it in, makes it a thousand times more fun to use. Obviously, it would be even better if it was wireless, but from everything I've done so far, and I think I've probably played about maybe an, an, an hour of it, maybe I've played about 30 minutes of this game, from what I've played so far, everything has been absolutely sublime. I've had barely any issues whatsoever. Like I said though, make sure you're playing in a nice lit room, but don't have it too <coughs> too bright, like a bright sunshine coming through your window, or as you can see in my case, a couple of light boxes. It doesn't seem to be affecting it too bad, but there is a little bit of flicker, flickering on my hand sometimes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, do make sure your room is lit, just not stupidly bright. So shut your curtains if you need to. Or if you're in a dark room, turn off your TV if nobody's watching you play, because you don't actually need your TV on when you play this game. That's just there for people that are watching you. There we go. I'm reading my maps right now. I'm on Bright Dawn. And Dawn's grasp is on the other side of it. Do I go there or make a break for it? No, I'm not a criminal. I'll go to Dawn's grasp, see what Marana wants. That's brave. That's a brave man right there. You could be thrown into jail when you do that. Razors. At least they're not a threat. Well, up here they're not a threat, but if we were down there, mate, right down there, you can see where I'm pointing. I mean, watch my finger, ready? See, if I touch the uh, R1 button, which is on the side there, I don't know if you can see it. See, I put one finger away. And then if I put my other finger on the R2, I put my other finger down. And if I squeeze them, then look, I'm, I'm like clenching, ready to punch someone square in the face, like a, a naughty grazer. <laughs> but if I was down there, as I was saying, I love this fucking game. If I was down there, those guys would be a threat, because they would flip in charge at me. You see what they do in Horizon, they flip in charge at you. Uh, when you're climbing up these mountains, you might have to uh, use the uh, left, uh, the right analog stick to like, just rotate things a little bit like that. Oh shit. Oh shit, I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if that came up then, but I was at, I was, it was too bright, basically. It normally happens when I'm looking up. I need to be careful. <laughs> Which I have to look up, though, because I'm climbing a mountain. But you can use the, uh, the left stick to rotate the uh, camera whilst you're climbing. Oh, no. I think I might have to record these videos a bit different than normal. Maybe instead of using my green screen, I'll just have to turn the light boxes off. And do the generic big square of me in the corner. Or maybe put me up in the top and make like a little circle around me or something. Just not edit the videos the same as I do when I uh, play my uh, normal games. Hey! Shadow Karja! You can run, but I will find you! I'm not trying to run! I'm... Hey! So, the other soldier from the boat is alive. And she thinks I'm trying to escape. God, I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit iffy at the moment, Wolf Morvets. I mean, I have done a little bit of climbing in my life with my cousin. Only twice, mind you. And definitely nothing to this extent. <laughs> mind you, some of the climbs you can do in the place that we go to, they are flipping like this. Obviously, you're not going to fall to your death if you fall, but they are like this. Little teeny things to grab. Actually, some of them are worse than this. Some of the ones you've got at the place he goes climbing are worse than this. <laughs> At least this has got like somewhat of a ledge to grab onto. Some of the things they expect you to grab onto is like, you want me to fucking hold on with my uh, pinky or some shit. It's ridiculous, mate. 
Oh yeah. I did a couple of rows when I was doing my weightlifting yesterday. And every time I have to pull myself up like that, I feel exceptional pain. <laughs> oh man, so I'm getting another fucking workout right now. I've also got my alarm set on my Fitbit, so when I've been playing for 30 minutes, it'll buzz, and then I have to end the video. I don't know when it's been 30 minutes till it buzzes, so I might have to just abruptly end these VR videos, because I have to wait till I feel a buzz on my wrist. Oh, here we go. You look at this, Wolf Warfare, so have a look at this. Hopefully the light boxes don't fuck me over. Okay, so we're going to grab the bow of L2. Back up a little bit if it lets me. Reach over to place an arrow. Right, so you reach over your back like that, you press R2, got yourself an arrow, and then, boff. Rusty. Practice by shooting the warning beacon. Right, let's see if I've got a good aim or not. If I ever got a good aim, it's purely because... Oh, look at that. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know if my nose was leaking or if I was sweating. <laughs> if I felt something on my nose, I panicked. Don't want to be snotting everywhere on YouTube. And to store the bow, you press uh, over your shoulder, press L2. There you go. Look at that. Reach over to grab both. Oh, okay. okay. There you go. If this All right, I want to put it back now. Machines. At least now I can fight back. Oh, actually, no, I don't. There's a few tar uh, That's one of the collectibles in this game. You see those targets up there? I need to put your thumb up, mate. Don't show off. You see that target there? You gotta find those throughout the game, and uh, there's—I think there's a trophy for it. But let's see if we can hit them all. Oh man, I'm assuming the accuracy has been amplified in this game. But I did say off camera, uh, on camera, that I am pretty damn good with a bow uh, in real life. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, look at that waterfall. And also, in terms of motion sickness, I've not really felt any. Obviously, when I turn like this with the uh, right analog stick, I do feel a little bit, a little bit uneasy, but not bad. And I haven't played PlayStation or any kind of VR since 2018 with Astrobot. So, uh, f to be honest, I was expecting to jump in at least for a little bit queasy the first time I jumped into VR. But when I jumped into it for the first time yesterday, it was fine, mate. I had no issues whatsoever. All right. Bloody hell, mate. I thought you wanted me to reach behind my back. <laughs> Fucking hell. Will Moran really offer me a pardon if I get the Don's grasp? I've got, I've got, got to be perfectly, like, perfectly honest like with you, Riaz. Normally when I play games on YouTube, you know, I'm listening to the story and I'm quiet when the character speaks, but I don't really give a toss, toss what you have to say, mate. I don't care. <laughs> I'm busy, mate. I'm having a fucking great time. Oh, no. Do not look, Dan. Oh, wait, ready? I'm going to hold on tight, but... Holy shit! I don't have any feet! I'm just a floating pair of hands! <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> I think there's a trophy in this game for climbing, like, the highest mountain or something like that, or some sort of really high challenge. So uh, maybe we'll have to do that on camera as well. But there will be a lot of VR content coming to the channel soon. The, at the moment it's going to be, each day will be Hogwarts Legacy and this. And then it's going to be Hogwarts Legacy and like two, three episodes of this per day. And then we'll move on to some of the other VR games I've got. I've got the Kayak one. I've got Moss Book 2, which I really want to play after waiting all this bloody time. Guard post. And I've also got um, Tentacular. Well, you play as a giant monster, if I remember correctly, and you could just fuck up the uh, city. <laughs> Controls and movement settings. Circle. Uh, also, this, these dual sense controllers are basically like a. Uh, these sense controllers are like a dual sense split in half. They've got the same haptic feedback as the, uh, the sense con uh, dual sense controllers, and they've got the same uh, uh, restrictive R2 and L2. And. Um, what was I, I was going to say? 
on your right hand, you're going to have your X and your circle. Like I said, it's like it's been split in half. You've got to try and remember it as a split dual sense. So you're going to have the circle and X on this one, and you're going to have the triangle and square on this one. It is a bit fiddly. It does take a bit of time to remember, especially your uh, middle finger being on the L1 and R1. That's a bit of a fiddly thing to remember as well. But just like when you first played your PlayStation, you had to get used to the dual shock controller. It's the same thing with this. You'll get used to it eventually. Would you like to change the controller? No, we don't need to, everything's all right at the moment. You could also change your rotation speed where this is a lot slower when you use the uh, right stick, but so far I'm not feeling too sick, so it's all good. If I don't reach Don's grasp before that soldier, Lameless Moran will send every unit in the sun to after me. Yeah, they torches. Oh, sweet, can I light them? <laughs> Woo! Oh fuck, I didn't even do this off camera. There's too many things to interact with. What do 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 What's that bloody song? Well they have to make Oh it's like Degeneration X from uh wrestling with Shawn Michaels and uh Triple H Oh, look at that, mate. That'll make a nice thumbnail. I don't know if we're going to meet any machines today, but this might make a nice thumbnail. Provided you guys and girls can see everything that I can see. Because that was another issue with uh, PlayStation VR 1. Whenever I recorded it, there would always be something that you couldn't bloody see. So hopefully recording this uh, with PSVR 2 and my much better PC, hopefully things will be a lot better. Ouch. I just face-planted a door. Brilliant. All right, let's go. Oh, what's that? Yeah, <laughs> fucking hell. Look how intricate that is. I mean, I can't actually put my finger in the hole. Giggity, but uh, look at that. Hey, ladies. <laughs> all, right, all right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Please don't, please don't get angry with me in the comments. Come on, leave me alone. I'm just oh, trying to have fun. From here. Uh, try and go to show the direction. I don't think we need to know about that, to be honest. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory where we need to go most of the time. Just look for the giant thing and climb it. Oh, look. Oh, fucking done. Get an arrow first, people. Nice. Oh, and another one. Target down. It's not too bad. I mean, it, the accuracy is amazing. But then again, when I when I played Farpoint on PlayStation VR one, and we had the uh, the uh, controller, the gun controller, the VR aim controller, whatever it was called, uh, that was pretty accurate as well, to be honest. <coughs> and Bravo Team was not too bad. There's a little vibration that comes through the controller every time you grab a varying a varying different. Uh, Strengths. So it's, it really feels like you're holding on to a rope a little bit. Not totally, but a little bit. It gives you like a vibration that feels like very like strawy, I guess. But this is all stuff you can experience with your dual sense controller as well. You don't need VR2 for that. Oh. Oh shit. What'd you do that for? Don't lean up like that, Riaz. I was just having a look around, mate. I didn't tell you to lean up like that. It scared the shit out of me. I don't even know if I can fall. And I don't even know if I want to find out. I really don't want to find out. I think it would just feel very weird. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. But apologies if my voice is all sorts of messed up at the moment. I have been ill for about a week. But you guys and girls won't know that because every Hogwarts Legacy video you've been watching, I recorded like a week ago before I was ill. So I've got about nine videos of Hogwarts Legacy where I've been ill. <laughs> it is beautiful up here. I've been away from the mountains for too long. Oh, look at that. Hey, up there, that must be where we get that trophy. Because I know there's somewhere you have to climb and it's very high. I'm pretty sure. It's got to be up there, isn't it? Look at it. That's like that uh, giant, uh, what are they called? You know, that, that like dead machine from the past. Oh, look, a birdie. A giant machine from the past. I think we're going to actually be fighting one of those in Horizon Burning Shores DLC. That would be nice. 
Oh, look, a gong. Oh, lovely. Right, and we're going to pick this up so I'm holding it properly. Uh... Oh, man, I'm not left-handed, but this will do. What are you doing with your wrist, mate? What are you holding it like that for? Hold it properly, you... There we go. Flipping weirdo Riaz, breaking your wrist. Back. Boff. Back. <laughs> oh, man. Every time I laugh, I cough. I need to stop being so happy. Story of my life. <laughs> Every time I'm happy, I get punished for it. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh, God. That's the kind of shit I do when I go climbing with my cousin. Exactly that. I accidentally put my hands on the same thing and then get myself stuck. But then I drop and fall. Thankfully, Riaz has got better skills than me. I think I just saw some apples. There is combat in this game, if you're wondering, but I will tell you right now, 90% of this, well, not 90%, about 75% of this game is exploring, from what I've uh, seen. Oh, look! You cheeky little devil. Can I hit it from here? Ah, oh, just call me Lara Croft. Just call me Lara Croft. I don't even care if she's a lady. I mean, you should really be calling me Aloy, but call me Lara Croft, the classic. Mind you, she did have a bow in the original game, did she? So really, Aloy is the classic. If I can't eat these, I'm going to be livid. Guess the sun hasn't given up on me yet. That is not how you eat an apple. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> fucking 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Lovely. Hey, look at that. Is there a little, like, ragdoll in there? I don't know if you guys or girls can see the boundary ring. It doesn't really pop up too often. But, uh, I don't know if you guys or girls can see it when I record. Hopefully you can't. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get down there now. Oh, yeah, okay. He leans for me. Lovely. Pew! <laughs> Fucking... I was just trying to say, if you put your hand too close to him, he tries to grab it so he stops listening. But if you move away a bit, there you go. So... <laughs> pew, pew! Pew, pew! Right, get back in the barrel. Ah, crap. We missed it. Oh, look at this. Oh, that must be a... Oh, yeah. Shortcut back out here. Okay. Right, pick up key. Press X to open inventory. That's a good way to sync up the video, actually. Bow. Key. Bow. Key. Lovely. Oops. I accidentally released the key. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Make sure you keep the R2 held down. This needs a key. Oh, <laughs> fucking. Oh, I swore I liked this video. I apologise. Open the freaking door. There we go. That was a bit fiddly. This looks like a refugee camp. What were they running from? Most likely machines. Or probably you. You are the Shadow Carja and you are a villain. Look at all these beautiful pots. Look at that. You can make stuff like this. Uh, out in the wild. If you find some clay, then all you got to do is make the shape, then cook it, in any kind of fire, just a random bonfire, and you'll get this bad boy right here. Obviously, you've got to make sure you make these, like, shapes and stuff. But look how you can stroke it as well. But look, you can make these, like, shapes and stuff on it, and then you can just pull it in a bonfire for a long, long time, 
and then salted, you get yourself one of these bad boys. And I think they're pretty strong as well. Oh, my wrist is buzzing. That means it's been 30 minutes. All right. I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolf it. Uh, next time, we will definitely be getting into a scuffle. And also, there's a bit of painting we can do. So I can uh, show you how intricate the uh, sense controllers are. And also, we're going to play with instruments as well, by the looks of it. But yeah, <coughs> apologies about the voice and the coughing. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolf it. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this first episode of Horizon Call of the Mountain. Hopefully, uh, PlayStation VR 2 is something that's going to interest you. I know a lot of people are very angry at the price. I was relatively uh, aggravated by the price, but I got lucky with getting some back pay from work, so I decided to take the plunge. And also, it's <coughs> beneficial for my YouTube channel as well to have this and be able to play these games that maybe not as many people can play, because then there's less competition for me, so it works out for me, even if that does sound a bit cruel. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, and join. And join the pack today. <laughs>